It's been a bad year for level crossing collisions, 15 so far, 10 of them fatal, well up on the same period last year. Kiwi Rail is so concerned it's using Rail Safety Week to literally drive the message home. But two people hit by a train last week say Kiwi Rail itself should be doing more. Here's Tony Reid. This is what happens when you run a 450 tonne train into a white hatchback. This controlled service was put on by Kiwi Rail. They want you to see it over and over again. This is the real thing. This is pretty much what would happen uh, in a real life incident. You know, the um, driver approaches the crossing, realizes that he can't stop, applies the brakes. By that time, of course, it's too late. The train tears through the car, throwing it to one side. OK, so this is how long it's taken our white car to stop 65 metres or so from point of impact just over there. If you keep your eye moving further down, the train, which was travelling at about 65 k's an hour or so, it's taken it 400 metres to come to a stop. There was no one in the car. The whole thing simulated. Film crew on hand to catch every moment up to and including point of impact. Anyone that was on the driver's side of the vehicle wouldn't have had any chance at all. One man with a close eye on proceedings was Ray Burgess. He was hit by a train two years ago. He'd be dead if it wasn't for the swift work of Erin Robinson, who was first on the scene. You were um, trapped underneath it by your shoulder and um, the hot oil was, you were immersed in hot oil and it was, um, I could see you trying to breathe but the oil was going down your throat and so I jumped down and lifted your head out of the oil and then you're still breathing by yourself. Burgess sustained massive injuries to his brain and nervous system. He now has a pronounced speech impediment but he's alive and urges everyone to take care at level crossings. I hope nobody does the same thing over. Uh, uh, every time I see a uh, crossing then, I look. Our level crossings have proved deadly this year. 15 collisions compared to 20 for the whole of last year. 10 people have died, including two farm workers in this horrific crash last month. A goods train slammed into their vehicle at a level crossing on the Canterbury Plains near Rakaia. The southern half of the South Island has the highest rate of collisions, but nowhere is immune. Take Kumu, west of Auckland, where Ray Burgess was hit. We've had quite a number of... Uh... Uh, accidents with trains in just our area and that's despite the fact that there's probably only two passenger trains and uh, up to three freight trains a day travelling on these lines. New Zealand has 1400 level crossings. Half have warning bells and flashing lights or barrier arms. The rest have stop or give way signs. But these signs weren't enough to keep James Baker and his wife Kerry safe. They were hit by a train last Friday in Kaikoura. Pulled up to the crossing here, stopped, looked left and right, said to Kerry, you OK your way? said, yep. Yeah. I looked my way again and I couldn't see anything. Proceeded over the crossing and it just as I looked right again, there it was, bang, yeah. train, bearing down us. The pair got away with minor injuries, a blessing for Kerry, who was three months pregnant with their first child. Baker admits he made a mistake by not noticing the train, but says Kiwi Rail needs to shoulder some of the blame too. Barriers would be really good on every crossing. And maybe brighter fronts of the trains, like bright pink or bright orange. Yeah, definitely. Brighten up the front of the trains. Because all the foliage around here is like yellowy green, which is what the front of the train sort of is, dirty yellow green. But Kiwi Rail says the driver of the car and only the driver of the car is responsible for whether they live or die. It all comes down to people paying attention and I suppose we need to get the message across that they have a healthy fear of crossing the tracks. You know, you're going to lose every time if you have an incident with a train. I think it all comes down to, down to funding again because if money wasn't an issue there would be barrier arms on all split, on level crossings but because of funding for whatever reason there isn't and I think that's dangerous. Obviously. <laughs> the footage from this crash will be made into a rail safety ad. The wreck itself will be put on show around the country as a reminder of what happens when you cross paths with a train.